please welcome to the stage Marcus Bruner of Swisscom. So hello. I learned something coming here, and I'm not a regular attendee of these conferences. One has to ask a question first. So who is using a mobile phone here? <laughs> Thank you. So that's the business we are in. We heard about the cool stuff you guys are doing here, and we uh, want to look into that technology, what's called like cloud native. So where do we are coming from in the, in, on the telco side? In the telco side, what we call uh, network function virtualization is the sort of virtualization part of doing network functions on cloud technology. Sort of the left side, there are good properties on that, but there are also bad properties. Specifically, if it comes to scaling, there is a problem. Uh, problem on uh, rewriting applications, eventually rewriting applications for it, and there's cloud resource usage problems. So we heard there's this cool thing called cloud native in the room, and we want to go from this massive elephant, which we have virtualized now, and by the way, they are not virtualized right now, typically we are in the process to virtualize them, uh, but that's, that is ongoing. So from these massive elephants, and for reliability purposes, probably two massive elephants in the network, we really would love to see to go to a much more cloud-native way of handling things. So on the right side, you, s you see that as a picture uh, in that sense a little bit. So they are trying to use the cloud-native to have uh, better reliability, this resource usage, and so on and so forth. The problem really is our applications are written in the elephant way. So we would need to really rewrite a lot of that. Currently in the telecom industry, and probably you guys heard about it, there is this 5G hype ongoing. So we are defining new technology, we are defining new network concepts. So probably it's about time to think about how to do that differently. What are the challenges? If you now talk about really telco functions, not IT functions, we talk about telco functions. So many of these functions are relatively stateful. So that comes because you have a certain very quick access to memory. For example, if you have a firewall type of functionality, you need to quickly check per packet what's going on. That basically means that failover uh, cases and horizontal scaling is relatively difficult, if not impossible at all. Then we have very I.O. intense workloads. It's not IT anymore. So it's I.O. intense, so we basically need data plane acceleration. So packet data plane acceleration, something uh, uh, required. We tend to have a bit more of a distributed architecture I know some people here in the room uh, uh, run things like that as well. Just in tendency, we have much more distribution than, than some other uh, uh, people do have. We do have a chaining of functions that sort of traffic flows through different functions along the way to somewhere, depending on what the function are and what we are doing. So you need to chain together different functions on, uh, on the way. Uh, telecom providers use a bit also different network protocols these days. We can discuss whether that's a wise decision or not, uh, but there are many other ones, not only UDP, TCP, and ICMP. And we basically need typically a NFV cloud and typically needs access to different networks because we typically run different networks uh, due to security, multi-tenancy reasons, and, and so on. So that's sort of the, the challenges we have. Last but not least, culture. And I don't go into too much details here, but really the right, the right side is really the IT thing, and I think that's what you know. We want to have the more agile, more, uh, more of everything as well. On the other hand, we have sort of the traditional way of operating our networks. And there are really five, nine reliability 
uh, averse to risk taking of changing things in, in the infrastructure and so on and so forth. And we would love to see somewhere and stay somewhere in between those to have DevOps in a telco environment. We see that it's very appealing, but we also see the difficulties doing that. So uh, concluding, so basically the question is, is it possible to use all that cool stuff in the telco environment? We have a lot of discussion in the telco industry also whether it's really decidable or measurable, whether something is cloud native. Many times we buy functions from uh, uh, suppliers, so we would basically love to say, can you deliver that functionality in a cloud native way or not? Now, if this is part of the contract, probably it should be a bit more measurable than what people talk about here. And we believe there are extensions needed to NFV as it stands today and to the NFV type of infrastructure to allow uh, concepts like that. And I just brought a quick reference to the NFV work. We started to discuss cloud native in an NFV uh, uh, context. And that's more for a reference here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marcus.